Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new pair of beta channel insider builds this week on the 13th of July, builds 22621 and 22631. And those were upgraded and updated with the update KB5028247. Now, just to have a quick look at what's new in build 22631, which has the new features rolling out by default, as many of you will know. And the first is a feature that has been available in the Insider program. The new uh, gallery in the File Explorer has now made its way into the beta channel. So this is getting closer to its public release, slowly moving down the Insider program. And the gallery appears here to the left-hand side underneath the Home and in the Home section in the Navigation menu that's found here to the left of the File Explorer and uh, is a feature that's designed to make it easy according to Microsoft to access your photo collection and the set of content shown in gallery is the same as what you'll see in the all photos view in the photos app so uh, basically they bring in the photos functionality from the photos app now to the new gallery in the file explorer and Microsoft also says that it's also optimized for accessing your most recently taken photos and as an example if you have OneDrive camera roll backup set up on your phone Photos you take will show up automatically at the top of the view. And then something else with this uh, feature is that um, the gallery also works from the file picking dialog, which brings the same ease of use according to Microsoft to, to um, situations where you, um, if you are inserting attachments and building a PowerPoint deck or crafting social media posts, um, it's going to be a lot easier to do now using the gallery uh, that's integrated now in the actual file explorer. And there's also another little handy feature they are rolling out regarding this uh, gallery photo feature is there's a toggle now, a button in the command bar titled Add Phone Photos, as we can see from the screenshot provided, that um, basically Microsoft says will help with setting up your PC to be ready to show these photos in gallery. Uh, clicking this button will open a URL with a QR code that you can scan with your phone to get started. So just making it a lot simpler to set up your phone um, regarding the new photos gallery feature in the file explorer now in the beta channel and then something else i did post on quite in depth um, earlier this week is the new microsoft store update that is now rolling out to um, all insiders in all the channels and um, if you want more info just go check those videos out i did post two earlier this week so go check those out if you want more info but a quick recap um, two new features rolling out are you are getting now more pricing information and also the big one here is here to the left hand side in the sidebar there is now a new AR hub so Microsoft is introducing artificial intelligence into the Microsoft store but go check some some previous videos out that I did post earlier this week if you'd like some more info regarding that Microsoft store update now something else that's quite important just to take note of regarding the beta channel is um, Microsoft says that Windows insiders on build 22631 We'll see the versioning updated now in WinVer as an example to version 23H2. So if we just head over to WinVer quickly in the stable version, this will give us the about windows as many of you will know. So what's happening in this week is version 22H2 has now been changed to version 23H2. And as I have posted earlier today, this will be uh, this year's annual feature update which will be delivered to customers similar to the most recent windows 10 feature updates using a small enablement package and so in effect uh, this latest build 22631 will be the build for the feature update version 23h2 rolling out later this year and in effect uh, these features that we are talking about today could possibly roll out as part of that feature update version 23H2. But I did post a video on that earlier today, so go check that out as well if you'd like some more info. Now, something else um, they have made an improvement for um, is the ability to end the task when right-clicking an app on the taskbar um, in the you know in the taskbar. So if you right-click, there's a there's a little section available now in that flyout menu to end a task without having to actually go to the task manager as I've posted previously and I actually think this will be a nice move in the right direction if and when it does roll out being able to end a task for that app right from the app without having to navigate into that task manager so it just streamlines the process and they've also added the ability to tear out, tear out and merge tabs in the file explorer so currently in the stable version of uh, the um, Windows 11 operating system version 22h2 if you have the 
tabs open. You can't actually drag those tabs out. You can see nothing happens. So that's what's changing now. You'll be able to drag and tear those uh, tabs out as Microsoft is saying, and they will actually now open up in their own window, without, which I think is another nice move in the right direction. And if we just head over quickly back to the actual release notes, we get a couple of fixes now rolling out in build 22631. We get a fix for the taskbar, two fixes for the file explorer, and a notification fix. And that's this week's two beta channel builds. In effect, um, Microsoft now is starting to prepare us for version 23H2. And that's this week's uh, uh, pair of uh, brand new insider builds for the beta channel, build 22621 and 22631.2048. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.